In this video I will show you everything you need to know about Blanco's Block Party before you start playing. Blanco's Block Party is a play to earn MMO that allows you to play with your friends in fun mini games and earn free money in the meat. The game is developed by Mythical Games, a company made up of veterans of the game making industry. For example, they worked on Call of Duty and World of Warcraft. Of course, first you need to download the game if you haven't done that yet. There is a link in the description or go to blankos.com. With that being said, let's hop into the game. You arrive at the desk first and from there you can do multiple exciting things. You can go straight into a brawl, go to your challenges, look at your shelf where you store your blankos, buy new blankos and accessories or play with friends in custom games in the social tab. The most important thing in the game are the brawls because there you will complete your daily, weekly and seasonal challenges. When you join a brawl you will fight against 11 other players for the win. You do that in 4 rounds and every round the worst players will get eliminated from the brawl. When there are 5 or 6 players left you will enter the final. The winner gets an extra prize, a gumball. In the other rounds you can win badges and with these badges you will earn moolah and xp chips. In the brawls you can play 3 different minigames. Shooters, Vibe Collect and Races. The player with the most kills, vibes, or has the fastest time, wins. Next to brawls you can also do custom minigames with friends. In these mini games you can't earn moolah and xp chips but these are very fun to do for example you can play soccer or battle royales and there are way more choices to go through and all these maps are built by the players themselves it's very important to mention that there are different types of blankos to play with two of those you get for free and Three others you only can play if you open a box Blanco. If you open a Blanco, then you can choose between Tanker, Tracker and Tracer. They all have different abilities that are good for different minigames. With Tanker, you will have an edge in Shooters. Because you can get a bubble with extra armor or place Vibe Bombs on the floor. When the Vibe Bombs get activated, they will explode and deal damage. Also, Tanker is good with Vibe Collect because of his bubble. The bubble will pick up vibes from further away. With Tracer, you will have an edge in races. With the dash and spin, you can move faster than your opponent. Fracker is more all round, I must say. With the dunk, you can damage your opponent and win shooters that way. His second ability is a speed boost. The dunk also disables abilities. So if you time it right and use the speed boost, there is a chance to win a race. The speed boost can also have a fire drill as well, which can damage the others and may slow them down. In Vibe Collect, the dunk and speed boost will help you to collect vibes in a rider range. With Moolah, XP chips and gumballs that you earn, you can level up your Blancos towards max out. You start at fair level 1 and you need to use XP chips. To level 15, use your mullah and gumballs for the grade up to level good and after that to level excellent. For some blancos you also can get to mint and gem mint. The only thing for that is you need multiple blancos of the same blanco. It's called gem minting and it's a great way to earn money in the game. When you have leveled up your blanco all the way, you can keep it and play with it or sell it on the mythical marketplace. Do you want to know how you earn the most out of the game? Watch this video. Also like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. On the social tab, there is also a button to go to the junction. In the junction, you can do multiple fun things. Every map that you will play in Blanco's block party is made by a player. So if you're creative, you can go to the think tank in the junction and build a map yourself. You also could get it featured. So 
other people can play it in brawls as well. Next to that, there's also a mashup area. Here you can give your Blancos unique color, just how you like them. Last but not least, you can go to the shop in the junction. So you can buy the drop while you're with your friends. I already mentioned that you can do challenges. When you complete these challenges, you can get a lot of fun stuff. You can get basic things like Mula and XP chips. Next to that, you can get Blanco Box, emotes and NFTs. You can sell these NFTs on a mythical marketplace and earn money. At the same time, you can buy NFTs yourself and it will automatically show in your shell. Every part pass will last for two months and you have plenty of time to get all the points you need. Let me know in the comments down below what other Blanco's topics you like to be discussed.